Hey, this is George with the New Hunters Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast, helping new hunters get started and helping active hunters learn new things. Today, we are gonna test the effectiveness of 22 ammo when hunting at 50 and 100 yards. I've seen a lot of people talking recently about how you just can't hunt past 50 yards with a 22 because there's so much bullet drop beyond that that you're just not able to hit a squirrel or a rabbit. So we're gonna put that to the test. We're gonna use four different ammos. We're gonna test some American American Eagle, Federal, Copper Plated, Hollow Points. These are 38 grain and they move at 1270 feet per second. We are also going to test some Aguila Interceptor. These are 40 grain round nose and they're moving at 1470 feet per second. We are also going to test your classic CCI Stinger, which is a 32 grain hollow point traveling at 1640 feet per second. And then of course some CCI Mini Mags, which are 40 grain round those traveling at 1235 feet per second. I'm not saying any of these ammos are the best ammo for hunting. I'm just saying these are the ones I could get my hands on at this current time of the year in order to do this test. Now we're not examining the ability to kill game at this distance. That's another video and a lot of people have done good videos on that. And the, the consensus is basically, you know, a 22 long rifle with an average bullet is going to be able to drop a squirrel or a rabbit from any range you can pretty much hit it at. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up a target, we're going to shoot all four at 50 yards, then we're going to shoot them, we're going to mark them, and then shoot it again at 100 yards, and we're going to examine the bullet drop between the four different kinds of ammo. Now the actual pattern size itself, the group, that doesn't matter so much. Even the placement of the group doesn't matter so much, because you could sight it in for any one of these four ammo. What we're really looking at is the drop between the four ammos when we go from 50 to 100. And really it's 50 meters and 100 meters. This is a competition range for international shooting. So it's more like 55 yards versus 110 yards, which I think only makes the, you know, only makes the test that much better. And for this target, I'm gonna be shooting my Savage Mark II bolt action. This is a heavy barrel, 20 inch. This is my go-to hunting rifle. It is a little bit heavier than your average 22, but it's still lighter than a deer rifle. And that heavy barrel gives it just a little bit more accuracy and it works great for target shooting because you can shoot more rounds before it heats up. So we're gonna launch the first volley at 50 yards. We'll reset the target to 100 yards and then we'll review the results. All right, so that was at 50. Now we're gonna circle our shots and then we're gonna shoot it again at 100 and see what the difference is. So you can see the drop on the same piece of paper. Again, it doesn't matter so much the size of the group or the location of the group here. It's what the difference in altitude is when we go to a higher distance or the further distance. All right, guys, I went through and I put X's on the ones at 100 yards. So we can see that the American Eagle, which had the best group maybe, had a four inch drop all the way down to here at 100 yards versus 50. The Aguila, uh, here's its X's and its O's, it had a 1.75 inch drop. Our CCI Mini Mags, which excellent group, and even still a really good group at 100 yards, had a five inch drop at 100 yards, which is a lot of drop, probably because it was going a little slower and it was heavier. And then our Stingers 
you can see here, our X's and our O's are actually intermingled. It had about a three quarters of one inch drop. So depending on your ammo, some ammo is going to drop from a 22, four to five inches at 100 yards. Some's only going to drop less than one inch. So if you're shooting stingers or probably even the Aguila and you're shooting at squirrels or a rabbit, you're probably going to be able to sight in for 50 yards and still hit at 100 yards. Or however you sight it in, you're only going to have between you know, a 0.75 inch drop over here and a 1.75 inch drop over here. And again, this is 110 yards actually, it's 100 meters. 50 meters and 100 meters, so it's 55 yards and 110 yards. So can you hunt with the same ammo in a 22 at 50 yards and 100 yards? If it's the right ammo, absolutely. So make sure you get out and test your ammo. Hope this is helpful for you guys. Hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe, leave me a note in the comments what you think, what other kind of tests you'd like to see. Really appreciate you guys. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.